How big of a problem do you think unlicensed taxis are right now here in Nashville? Uh, I think it's a significant problem. Continuing coverage as Metro regulators go on the record after our reporting reveals unlicensed cab and rideshare drivers creating horror stories downtown for locals and tourists to like. Box 17 News' Caitlin Miller now live in Midtown after speaking with the head of Metro's Transportation Licensing Commission as well as a licensed cab driver. Yes, Scott, well, the TLC told me today that they have enforcement officers downtown every day checking to make sure that all taxi drivers are following the law. But a legitimate taxi driver that we spoke with today says that the city still needs to do more. All right, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. We went for a ride with a licensed taxi driver. We are going, for example, to Broadway. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Raid Al Tabasi works for Yellow Cab. He told us how to tell a legit taxi from an imposter. First, make sure the name of the company is on the vehicle along with a taxi number. And watch for this. I have to have my meter start before I start running. Al Tabasi says unlicensed are hurting their reputation and bad for business. The overcharging people and nobody ask them why, nobody stop them, and nobody say anything to them. After weeks of calls, TLC director Richard Rooker spoke with me about this growing problem. We've been hearing the horror stories from tourists, even legitimate taxi drivers. What's the TLC doing to address the safety concern? Well, we are, we are aware of the safety concern, and we have enforcement officers that are constantly uh, on Broadway, monitoring Broadway, monitoring all the downtown core. But the cab companies we've talked with say it's not enough. I asked Rooker if there are any challenges they're facing with sighting drivers. The issues that we have and the problem that we have is when we pull up and, and these ride shares or fake cabs, however you want to express it, are there and we pull behind them to cite them for a parking ticket, they pull off and, and our department doesn't have the ability to, to pull them over. Rooker says his people can only write citations. He says an undercover operation would require action by Metro Police. The TLC says that a lot of these problems occur late at night and on weekends. Now, Rooker speculates a lot of these legitimate taxi drivers return back downtown after work hours working illegally. But again, none of these drivers have been caught yet. Reporting live from Midtown, I'm Caitlin Miller, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.